Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Shakti Singh, who started his career as a freelancer in data analytics domain, and recently he cracked a job with more than 200% high. Hopefully, you will learn a lot from his journey. So let's get started. And before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful video. Hello, Shakti. How are you? Hi, Shashank. I'm doing fine. How things are going on your end? Uh, I'm also doing good, and things are going good. So thank you so much for coming on this podcast on the show, on a very short notice. Uh, I believe people will learn a lot from your journey, and so let's get started. So, so could you please throw some light on your educational background? So Shashank, actually, uh, my education background begins uh, from 2013 when I was in grade 11. That time I was pursuing science, uh, normal, just normal like a. Science student, TCM, and computer science. And during that time, I was introduced to a new language into the school that is Python. Mm -hmm. And from that, uh, from that point of life, I I was like fallen in love with using statistics or mathematics uh, into a day-to-day -day life. And I was highly motivated how we can use those statistics and mathematics problems into uh, real-life problems using Python. So mm -hmm. when I was in like grade 12, uh, there were like new things coming to us. For example, like SQL. And mm -hmm. uh, at that time, I was like uh, basically learning from uh, Python, like uh, creating functions that a normal like 11, 12 uh, standard kid would do. And at mm -hmm. that time, I was like, how we can use this thing to solve real life problem shit means. Mm -hmm. And due to that uh, question, I mm -hmm. decided to get into the engineering background. So I joined uh, BTEC. From mm -hmm. Delhi, IP University basically, not a like not it's not like a IIT or not a big call, uh, big university. Mm -hmm. It's just an average university. Over there, I basically learned like uh, statistics, mathematics, uh, and DBMS database management system. A lot of different things like uh, de uh, designing, uh, for example, like algorithm designing and uh, data structures and all those things. So. During that uh, journey, not only it's like a uh, technical part of the journey in in India, basically uh, the more focus is on like the technique uh, theory part in colleges, right? Mm -hmm. So from that, uh, I was like going through that thing as well as I was trying to co up with the practical scenarios. Like mm -hmm. I was trying to um, equally match the both levels, like theory level and practical level. Mm -hmm. And uh, that thing literally helped me a lot in uh, grasping the concepts in depth manner. My college basically uh, came to an end in 2019, but unfortunately, co uh, COVID-19 struck us real hard on that year, especially okay. 2019, right? Okay. So the, there was a major drop in college placements. Mm -hmm. Although I and my I and a lot of my uh, other my friends, which were in the same group, we were mm -hmm. getting uh, calls and jobs at that time, but those jobs were not in the same field where mm -hmm. we wanted to grow and where we wanted to go. Mm -hmm. So we decided to take a step back and we decided to go for a freelancing. So okay. one of our friends, uh, we we were like a three people. We three decided to uh, go for the freelancing. We three built a team and we three uh, started a freelancing career in 2019. Okay. So, so, uh, uh, so in which field you started freelancing? Like was it data analytics, right? Yeah, it was basic. At starting, it was a data analytics. Uh, in early phases, uh, we were like having. I was having like uh, knowledge of data analytics, and uh, the other guy was having knowledge of data engineering. How he can uh, like flow data from one end to other, and how he can build a pipeline mm -hmm. in real case scenarios. And mm -hmm. and the third one was having the little bit knowledge of both data analytics and data uh, data engineering, but he was also like uh, managing both of us at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because he was like uh, he was responsible for bringing uh, for uh, getting projects for us, so we all can work on on it and get some money out of it. So, so which platform did you use for for the freelancing? So uh, I think he was on multiple platform, but uh, mostly he was using Fiverr for us. Fiverr, Fiverr, okay. Yeah. So how much time uh, did you uh, it, did it took to get your first project from Fiverr? Okay, so Shishank, funny story is like uh, at early stage during the college level, we didn't even knew how we how to talk with the client, mm -hmm. how to uh, how to uh, explain your things in deep manner so that uh, 
they can understand the work that you have done we didn't even know how can we sell our own skill set mm-hmm. right so mm-hmm. it took us around uh, uh, two months of the time it was like up uh, up and down like uh, sometimes mm-hmm. we were get we were uh, explaining uh, technical skills way too good but then mm-hmm. the requirement was something else sometimes we were not able to explain things properly to the people who want to, uh, people and then uh, it was like when we got our first project we were literally celebrating i still remember that time you were on mm-hmm. the like 10th floor of an of an apartment in new delhi so mm-hmm. so we were like in the same room and uh, the once we cracked the deal we were literally celebrating like we have won our war mm-hmm. <clears throat> i can so understand that, that that was the momentum that we got and it was like uh, we had like multiple clients after that once we cracked the deal so we were like uh, finishing mm-hmm. uh, getting the project done in couple of days so it took us around two ha- two months for the getting cracking first deal and it was like 15 days work mm-hmm. so we just and, did uh, and on a monthly basis how much used to earn through freelancing on a monthly basis all of us so on a monthly basis individually i was getting around 30k 30000 okay yeah per head it was 30000 but some, it was uh, of course it was flexible because it depends on like uh, what kind of project you are dealing with right mm-hmm. and how much is the budget so since we all we were in a team and we were having like a budget we, our client was uh, like we were earning around 9200k so how long did you continue in this freelancing domain so it i continued for approximately 2 year 1 month so shishank uh, when i when i was done with freelancing i decided that uh, it's not like the permanent track as a fresher where i can ex- gain good amount of money so mm-hmm. uh, at that time i was i got to know about like there's a platform called linkedin through mm-hmm. which you can apply i was getting calls and most of them were treating me like a fresher because i didn't had the corporate experience of course Mm-hmm. so when when i crack my first job i still remember that day uh, they, i was like i was so happy that i got the job but again i forgot to negotiate hard on my skill set so they considered you yeah. as a fresher right yeah they considered me as a fresher okay and how much is the package that you got for the first time it was 2 lakh 60000 okay 2.6 lakhs per annum okay. yeah 2.6 lakhs per annum and what was the like skill set uh, on which you were interviewed uh, i was interviewed more of like a sql at okay. that time for the data analyst job and and now like i got to know that uh, recently you got a new job right with more than 200% yes. high so uh, now in this market situation so how do you, how did you get the interview calls okay so when i was like when i decided to leave my previous organization at that, uh, during that time i was like okay so i'm not getting call last time i tried to get the call, uh, go for the job and i was not getting call from a lot of different websites so i decided to uh, like how can i sell myself in the market mm-hmm. right i know that i have knowledge and mm-hmm. apart from knowledge i have like a particular hard skill set which i can improvise on as right. per the next company's requirement then i uh, then i basically this uh, decided how people are like getting jobs and how people are getting calls so uh, during that time i came across a, a lot of good content creators on linkedin one is you ankit bansal munna das they were like so many different people who mm-hmm. who, who helped me a lot so when i was like when i started my content creating on linkedin at that time uh, i was like building my good profile uh, within like 30 days i got around 1800 plus followers on okay. linkedin and i was getting like good uh, reach over there mm-hmm. so uh, there were like people coming to me would you uh, i have like this opportunity would you like to join us would mm-hmm. you know and they were like sharing me job opening or job job openings so okay. when so on 4th of march mm-hmm. 2023 mm-hmm. that that day was my last working day in my previous organization okay. and that was like i'm assuming friday or saturday something yeah and was friday and how did you and, uh, and how long did you continue in that per, uh, last company how much was the duration uh, it was around 1 year 3 months okay so what uh, so linkedin is the platform which helped you to get the interview calls right yeah linkedin helped me a lot can you give any tips how to optimize your linkedin profile so that the audience who will be watching this 
uh, podcast, they, so they will also can apply on, on their LinkedIn profile. I would say, uh, first of all, start categorizing your content, like what, like clear yourself what you want to put on the LinkedIn. Always go for building a PDF and make sure you are always unique in the PDF. And into even in the PDF file that you would be uploading on the LinkedIn, you should be giving real life examples and you should be like showing them how this is how things are getting done. This is how a particular topic is getting done, right? And mm-hmm. always use hashtags which are trending and always try to make sure like uh, your content is clean, readable mm-hmm. and easy to understand. Like right. uh, it should be like how you can connect with people, how people can connect with you. The more people can connect with you, the more they will react to your content. You won't believe me mm-hmm. for a gap of like 72 hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I left my previous job, I I literally gave 20 plus interviews on 5th of March, on 6th of March, on 7th of March. Great. Yeah, and out did. of those mm-hmm. 20, out of 20 plus interviews, I had like four offer letters in my hand. Right. So there's Great. like a funnel drop. How many interviews that I, how many jobs I've applied for in those, mm-hmm. uh, those couple of previous seven days or 14 days, let's say I've applied for around 200 plus jobs. Mm-hmm. How much uh, I was getting called out of those 200 plus, so let's say I was getting called for 50 call, uh, interviews. And out mm-hmm. of those 50, how many I was able to crack round one, round two, then final round, right? Mm-hmm. So that you would say it's like a funnel drop into the chain. Uh, how do you feel now after getting a very good package? So Shishank, uh, after joining this company, I I was like so happy that I can finally achieve my dream. When I was like a kid, I had like this dream of purchasing an iPhone someday with my own money. Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, right now I'm getting enough money so that I can purchase. So even uh, last week, I basically purchased iPhone 14 Pro with my own salary, all cash. Okay. And I was like, I, I, it was like a breathtaking moment for me. And I was so happy and I was celebrating it with my friends, families. Although it was raining, I got sick, but I was able to buy my phone. Great to hear that. So uh, nowadays in the current market situation, uh, so a lot of freshers complain that they don't get the opportunity, uh, like they have the right skills, they have the right knowledge, right? The skills means they have the, uh, they have knowledge in uh, Excel, SQL, Power BI, and as well as Python, but still they are, they are not getting the calls. So what advice would you like to give to them so that they also get, uh, so they can also try, uh, basically land a job in data analytics to me? Uh, I would just say, uh, be active on LinkedIn, like 24 into seven. If you are getting calls, like if you're, if you're seeing a job post on LinkedIn, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you should be applying to it within like 30, within like 30 minutes, because, uh, as an interviewer, as a recruiter, I would be like posting a job post and I would be selecting the people whom, uh, who would be like, uh, up, uh applying first. It's like first come first serve scenario, right? Okay. So uh, let's say uh, I have uh, I have posted our job for 30 uh, and within the 30 minutes I was able to get like 100 candidates out of those 100 candidates I would be like filtering out mm-hmm. as a recruiter right so out of those 100 I've got like 10 good candidates and I and I took the interview for those 10 good candidates out of which it depends like it depends on the interview how many of them got cracked the, how many of them cracked the job right mm-hmm. Again, I would say it's like first come first serve scenario. And secondly, I would just say you have to be you have to be ready with your resume. Always, uh, always keep like three to four resume with yourself. Depending on the job post, uh, mm-hmm. ch- uh, ch- change your resume as soon as possible. And mm-hmm. with that new set of resume, apply for it. If you are not getting calls, then then relook into your resume. What were the mistakes that you did? Why did your resume got shortlisted? Correct. Mm-hmm. Right, right, absolutely. So, so those things matters a lot. Yeah. So can you can you throw some light on how to prepare a resume as a fresher? As a fresher, I would just say make sure you are able to explain the things that you have learned. Right. Make sure you put your projects into that particular okay. resume in an explained and brief manner. Make sure you polish your achievements properly. Right. Make sure uh, you uh, deliver things into your resume in a clean manner. Okay. And what about the ATS score? 
ATS score, uh, you can test on different different like uh, website. I'm assuming right now these are uh, there like so many websites so mm -hmm. from where you can uh, get. So it, you can use ChatGPT again. I would say for okay. uh, testing out your resume, like how good is it performing for this particular uh, job uh, openings, right? And any any particular website uh, you would recommend for ATS score for checking the ATS score? Uh, to be precisely, I haven't used like ATS much. Okay, so from your experience, we can consider that uh, like ATS score, like you won't have to focus much on the ATS score, right? If you prepared your resume yeah. properly and which is very concise and clean, and it is to the point, so it is it also works, right? Yeah, it also works. Okay, and uh, since you got multiple offers, so how did you used to negotiate for the package? One tip I would like to give, never never share your uh, previous salary with any recruiter. During the early stage of interviews or during the first round, during the uh, like first call from the company, mm -hmm. you should be like, uh, you should not be disclosing your salary with anyone. That is the first rule. Second one is, uh, if you're able to crack the job, then uh, uh, if you're able to crack, like for example, first job, you can say that uh, in my last job, I was able to get this much amount of money. I would mm -hmm. like to get uh, XYZ percentage of hike into my salary on my last, then I can join, correct? And okay. if they are ready to give you offer, then you can like take the offer. But since in my case, like I was getting multiple offers, right? Mm -hmm. So I tried to get hike on my first salary, first company salary. Then next offer was like giving X amount of hike into second salary. Then next was like giving Y amount of hike into my previous offer letter that I got from mm -hmm. the company, right? So like that only, okay. I was able to get like 200 plus percentage of hike. Okay, Shakti. Uh, thank you so much for coming on this podcast. Thank you so much, Shashank, for uh, having me onto the podcast. And I'm so glad that uh, you invited me because I've been following your channel and your content uh, throughout my whole journey, I would say. And I'm absolutely glad that uh, I have learned so much from you and I was able to get this job. Thank you. Thank you, Shakti, for that.